Hello everyone, Wendy Ross for U.S. Trotting. Our Hamiltonian contenders continue. We make a stop at Legend Farm and the Swanstead Sable. Three horses heading into Saturday. The Phillies in the Oaks, French Champagne and War We Michelle. And the Colt in the Hamiltonian final. Amazing catch, a bit of a long shot from post 10, but don't ever count out Team Swanstead. Aki, always nice to make a stop here at Legend Farm and, and see you and Sarah. It's Hamiltonian week, always exciting. Yeah, oh yes, I'm excited. Yeah. This year, of course, we have amazing catch, right? Not, not usual for Team Spawn said to have a long shot going into the, to the final on Saturday. I was uh, no luck with the draw in the elimination. I had 10 post 10 with two of them, so it was a little unlucky. You know, third in the elimination, what did Dexter have to say? Yeah, he was happy with the horse and uh, he have not raced so much this year, so maybe he's more sharp uh, this week, but it's a tough competition in post 10, so uh, if he can make the check, then I'm very happy. <laughs> You're happy, right? It's yeah. always good to be in it. Yes. Now, for a horse like him that doesn't show a ton of gate speed, you kind of got to just kind of leave out of there and hopefully maybe just for a little bit of luck. Yeah, he need luck and maybe Dexter can figure out <laughs> how to drive. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think he does okay, right? Yes, he do okay. Now, let's move on to the Phillies, right? You have two that made the Oaks final there. Start with French Champagne. She's been driven by Tim and Dexter. Who's going to be driving her on Saturday? And Emilia going to drive her. It doesn't matter that he don't know her so very well. I think he can drive her good. But uh, she had a bad week last week and she, we couldn't train her because she had a bad temper and she didn't turn. So she raced very good, uh, if you see on that. But uh, this week is a better week. She had trained exactly what we want and she feel good. Now, when you say train, explain to me how you train leading up to, the, to a race on Saturday. Yeah, we train interval training always, but she didn't want to train last week. She had a bad temper. She had a bad week, so yeah. she was just jogging a little. Yeah. But this week is a better week, so we have trained her. Now, from post seven, a filly like her that does have that gate speed, post seven, she can handle it. Yeah, it's an okay post, and she can leave. And yeah, she's an all-round horse, and she's a good horse. Mm -hmm. Now, let's move on to Warwick Michelle, the filly that draws well. Now, we know what a great two-year-old year she has. Take us through how you feel she's come back at three. Yeah, it was hard to get her back, and we didn't get any power in her, but. Now we figure out what was wrong. She had some breathing problems and we did a throat surgery on her and she was a different horse now. So with post two, could we see? Could she be a little sneaky in there? I hope she can be there. Now you do the driving on her, so nobody to blame for you right now, after to see how Saturday goes. She was uh, normal last time again and uh, she haven't raced so much, but she, her form is coming up. Now, speaking of the ladies, I see a couple of my favorite girls back on the card for Saturday. We bring back Jiggy Jog and, of course, my favorite Bond. How do you like the mares coming back? Yeah, Jiggy Jog, she trained good and she's always good. And Bond haven't raced. Uh, it's the first race for this year, so maybe she's not in top form, but she's uh, ready to race. So I'm happy to have her back on the track. And as far as those mares, it's a long season, right? A lot of racing left. Oh, yes, it is. It's only the beginning of the season. Aki, thank you so much and best of luck. Mm, thank you. Thank you.